Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim. How are you doing? Thanks to the official post on the Lenovo website, we now know the names and configurations of yet-to-be-released NVIDIA RTX 3060, 3050 Ti and 3050 graphics cards. In this video, I will tell you everything I know about these GPUs so far. And it is quite a lot. I would like to remind you that some or maybe even all of these graphics cards are expected to be revealed during the special NVIDIA RTX Online broadcast on January 12th. Let's begin with RTX 3060. It will have 12 GB of GDDR6 memory, running at 16 gigabits per second across the 192-bit bus, 3840 CUDA cores, 30 ray tracing cores, and 120 tensor cores. Total board power will be around 170 watts, and I expect the price to be $300 to $350. RTX 3050 Ti will have 6 GB of GDDR6 memory, running at 14 GB per second, 192-bit bus, 3584 CUDA cores, 28 ray tracing cores and 112 tensor cores. Total board power will be close to 130 watts and the card should cost below $300, could be close to $250. RTX 3050 will be the cheapest NVIDIA graphics card to offer ray tracing and DLSS technologies to gamers. I expect it to cost around $200. It will have 4GB of GDDR6 memory, 128-bit bus, 2304 CUDA cores, 18 ray tracing cores and 72 tensor cores. Total board power will be around 90 watts. To be honest with you, I think that 4GB of video memory on 3050 is too low. Some games require more than 4GB of memory when playing at 1080p right now. I'm sure that 3050 will be able to handle ultra-quality textures in most of those games. So it is sad to see that there is that VRAM bottleneck there. It is just one more thing designed to push you towards buying RTX 3060 with 12GB of memory. It looks like 3060 will become the new go-to graphics card for the majority of gamers. It should allow you to run most games even at 1440p resolution if you choose to. Are you planning to get one of these graphics cards? Let me know which one in the comments below. It was I, Vadim, until next time.